But the game is called a fruit salad. What is a fruit salad? Mixture. Mixture of fruit. It's a fruit salad, right? <laughs> okay. So let's decide. We want three pieces of fruit in this salad. What do we? What do we want? Apple. 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 Pineapple. Apple. Apple. Pineapple. Apple. Pineapple. Apple. Pineapple. Pineapple. Banana. Banana. Okay, that's three. Apple. Pineapple. 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 Banana. Banana. Did you say apple? Okay. You are apple. <laughs> okay. Pineapple. Banana. Apple. Pineapple. Banana. Everybody remember what fruit you are. Yeah? What are you, Gidwood? Banana. Are you sure? What are you? Apple. Okay. Cool. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you an instruction. So I'm going to say, if I call whatever fruit you are, if I just say bananas, only the bananas will move. If I say mixed fruit, everybody moves. Everybody moves and you're going to sit in a different chair. The rule is you may not move to the side. Lizzo, are you awake? Yes, okay. All right. So, you understand? Yes. Okay. So, let's, let's see how awake you are. Let's start the game. Uh, I'm going to call mixed fruit. That only counts when there's seats available. When there's no seats available, I'm sitting here. When did that rule come into being? Ah, you're out. Disqualified. Cut. When did that rule come into being? <laughs> When did that rule, oh, yeah, that yeah. exception, <laughs> when did that exception come into play? When there were still seats available. Ah. There was only one chair available afterwards. <laughs> but, okay, so how is this a game of life? So there are the rules. Everybody, nobody, everybody agreed to the rules. The first instance, you are told, apply the rule. What happens? Somebody creates an exception. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how often do you Agree to a rule and then just kind of think conveniently. You can sneak out and do your own thing on the side. I don't. This is the, this is the exception. Why would you this do it here? Exception. Why would you do it here? Because I wasn't aware that there was no exceptions. And that, so when you're not aware, instead of checking, is there an exception, you decide on your own to break the rule, to make an exception, and just kind of think, I can just quickly, just quietly move to the side. Sorry. And then there are the eyes of the public. The eyes of Pamela. <laughs> the people that see what we do, even though we think nobody's watching. Okay, let's carry on. Carry on. Next fruit. <laughs> So what, what happened? What just happened here? I sat down and then I realized that, no, that's next to my old chair. So I left the chair for her. That's next to your previous chair? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. And so what did you do? I left it for her. Aha. Uh -huh. So you were able to correct yourself. Yes. You saw that I made a mistake. I broke a rule that I agreed to. Yeah. And you can correct yourself. Yes. So, so do we realize that as an ability to self-correct? Yeah. Yes. That all of us have enough in our heads to know when we have broken our own words to ourselves, or our word, I see you, Jack Elfina, our, or a word that we agreed to somebody. Yes, Lisa? I'm taking Hunter with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what happened to that chair. Mm -hmm. The chair is gone. <laughs> The cheese has moved. That's life. It's gone. Yesterday yeah. is gone. So you can't be looking for yesterday. It's gone. We are in the now. The chair is not here right now. No. Huh? Okay, so Lisa, come this side. I'm not going to do anything for you. Come here with me. <laughs> oh, don't give up with me. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pineapple. Pineapples. <laughs> Is there anyone who was not a pineapple? <laughs> that moved. <laughs> who moved? <laughs> so, who's the wrong one here? Aha. <laughs> Wasn't me. What happened? <laughs> Why did you move? So how how easy is it to get confused in life, Kidwani? You know, is it, is it not clear that you must go to school, do the right thing, and, and just, it just takes one word. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to now do a number salad. A number salad. So I will either call a number, or I can still call the fruit. Okay. So if I call a number, make sure you find people to make up that number. Clear? Yes. All right. Mixed fruit. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Let's do this again. No, you can't repeat. <laughs> so how are you, what are you going to do? Since you can't sit, there is a chair, how are you going to sort it out? I can negotiate for a switch. Which, which place are you sitting? Mm -hmm. Which place? Right next to you. What can you do? You can negotiate for switch. I can negotiate for switch. There you go. Can you switch? Thank you, darling. You see, <laughs> the, the world is always willing to help. Yeah. Ask for help. Ask for help. Okay, so let's do a number salad. Three. I need a tissue. Okay, since you realize there's enough of you yeah. to make the group of three, grab a chair and sit facing each other. And so what I want you to talk to each other about is the way in which I sabotage my own life dreams is. What are the ways in which you sabotage yourself in your life so far? What are the things that you have done to let yourself down? Okay, okay. What, what made me to sabotage my dream is to allow peer pressure to overcome. What me are the behaviors by the which you disappoint? What would, without saying what it is that you do, what makes it so emotional for you? You can share with your team what makes it so emotional without telling them what it is. What is it that makes? Because it hurts me to know that I was that kind of person. How does it feel to see the emotion that Jack, that um, Shen Li? Oh, it's sad. <laughs> and and what? It's a cord, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a cord. Mm -hmm. In what way, Lerato? I can think of like five things mm. that I've done which <clears throat> I wouldn't tell the next person, but if I see I see that sort of emotion, I can easily break down myself. Mm. Um, it hurts because you, you, you're trying to figure out when you see someone like this, you're trying to figure out who, who, what might it be. And why is she crying? Why is she, she being like this now? Is it so hard? Did she let it go? What's happening? Is she still hanging in it? So it's deep. It's very deep. Another challenge comes from the, okay, the approach. Mm -hmm. How do you approach someone who's emotional like that? Mm -hmm. People are different. Mm -hmm. Is the approach correct? Will the approach make her feel worse or make her feel better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Carry on, you can <coughs> share with her. Okay. You know, you can start the rato. Something I've done. You know, you add rock bottom when you consider suicide. Yeah. You know that's a huge disappointment. And 
Very few people have people to pull them out of that. Oh. Huh? That's why you won't agree that I'm a good looking boy. It's because you're ignorant. Oh, so you're telling me that I'm ignoring your looks? Yes! Uh, Look at this! Oh, that pretty piece. <laughs> creme de la creme! Oh, Top of the range! Oh, oh yeah, right. Ha. So we're ready. The way in which I sabotaged my life was firstly not obeying my parents, secondly lying, which in telling them, for example, I'm studying and I'm sleeping, oh, and hanging around with friends, bad influences, and um, and thinking I was gonna get to where I want to get. So he showed me once more weed. Yeah. Like everything that happened to me, circumstances, trials, tribulations, telling myself that, you know what, this is the end. I cannot do this. Why shouldn't I just die, you know? And that was it. I haven't really, I, I wouldn't say I've sabotaged my dreams, but more of potholes along the pathway. Like, for instance, the friends I had, the way I associated myself, the way I wanted people to view me. I didn't like being out. I wanted to be the in person, which was which led to the smoking weed and things. But I've stopped. Dreams aren't shattered. You just potholes along the path, like I said. What's the step are you gonna take? Because now everyone is gonna, people gonna ask you, what did you go through? What did you do this and that? Are you gonna cry like that? Because I believe that what you went through might help me, might help the next person. What are you planning to do about it? Are you just going to plan it to ruin you? It's ruining you now. It's killing you inside. And you just have to let it be, let it out. It might help me. It might help Lerato. Me not knowing, then I don't know anything. But if you tell us, if you tell the whole world, then you might help another person. I'm not going to say what I did. I'm just going to yeah. say a lot of bad choices yeah. that I've made yeah. has put me like in this emotional state. Yeah. So don't make bad choices. That's, I don't know what else.